Today on Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the Rhino Low Hub Pro FD See-Through Ground Blind. This is Adrian with Review This Thing, and we have had the pleasure of reviewing a number of see-through ground blinds. So when the guys at Rhino asked if we wanted to check this one out, we jumped at the chance. Usually whenever I do a blind review, I like to have it with me, but it's been in the woods for a few weeks and we have hunted out of it quite a bit. So we're ready to tell you what we think. Let's review this thing. We do have links to this below. So if you should decide you wanna buy one of these and you use that link, we will earn a small commission at no extra charge to you. As always, we're gonna cover the facts. The first part is fit. The main thing I wanna cover here is the size. At the ceiling, it is 55 inches by 55 inches but the floor footprint is actually 68 by 68, which feels a huge when you're in it for a ground blind. Plus, because the shape of the hubs, they go outward, so at its widest point, it's actually 89 inches wide. Not long ago, Robbie and our friend Scott hunted out of it. You can actually watch the video on our other channel, Hunt This Thing. Two grown men, chairs, bags, camera gear, bow, all that stuff, but they both said they had more than enough room. It stands 75 inches tall, so unless you're taller than 6'3", you should be able to stand all the way up in it, which is great for putting your gear on or if you just need to stand up and stretch your legs. And even at the walls, I can stand all the way up at 5'4". Another aspect of fit is that it does come with a backpack style carry bag and it only weighs 20 pounds. So it's pretty heavy duty, but not so heavy that you can't easily carry in and out. For us, the fit is perfect. Lightweight enough to maneuver and big enough for both of us and plenty of gear. And if one of us was alone, we could lay down and take a nap if we wanted to. So because of that, I'm gonna give fit a five out of five. Next is the Rhino Low Hub Pro FD as advertised. The first thing they advertise is easy setup. First time Robbie put it up, he was able to do it super quickly, said it was very easy. And then the second and third time, even easier than that. And another thing Rhino advertises, and this is huge, is that the improved full door makes entry and exit easier. I would absolutely have to agree with this. That full door is amazing. It very well may be my favorite part of this blind. If you've hunted ground blinds before, you know how annoying it can be to have to hunker down and step over the door and you have your bag that gets hung. It's just a whole mess trying to get in and out. But with this full door, you can literally just walk right in. Robbie is 5'10", and even with a pack on, able to walk straight through, didn't have to bend over at all. With that full zipper, it then sturdies it back up, so your whole blind is gonna be secure. And I know some of you may wonder about the zipper, but it's not overly loud, so not really something you should worry about. The next thing they advertise is this one-way see-through mesh. We've hunted out of a few blinds with this mesh, and I'm telling you, it is a game changer. Being able to just kind of sit back, relax, and you can see what's going on. You don't have to like look down all the time to peek through the window slots. It is amazing. And then knowing all that they can see of you is through the open part of the window. I will say the only downside to see-through mesh, and I don't think there's any way around it, is if you happen to get skylined, because if both of the sides are see-through and the light is shining through, especially sunrise, sunset, and the deer can look through, then they're gonna be able to see you a little bit. Now, if the deer is in front, one really nice part of this blind is it has a full black curtain that you can put up or take down, so they won't be able to see all the way through there. As far as the sides, you may want to put it up against some brush, or you could even hang a sheet on one side if you don't expect the deer to come from that way, or you can just make sure you sit as far back in the blind as possible. Overall, the Low Hub Pro does what they say it should do, so I'm going to give, as advertised, a 5 out of 5. Now onto construction and durability. The Low Hub Pro is made of 600 denier fabric in real tree camo. So it feels very sturdy and like it should stand up to quite a bit of wear and tear. That 600 denier fabric also has waterproof and water resistant qualities. Fortunately, I guess we did not have the chance to test it out in rain. So if you have this blind and have had it out in the weather, then comment and let us know how it did. The next part of construction is that low hub design, which basically means the hubs sit lower than they do in pretty much all other ground blinds. And actually this feature may be tied with the full door as my favorite part. First, I do wanna mention that the hubs and the stays are made of really sturdy feeling metal. So that is something you don't see in all ground blinds either. 
Now back to the low hub. So I'm 5'4", and most windows in ground blinds are a little high for me. So having that window already lower is going to be a huge thing for us short people, especially with low chairs. Plus, this next feature makes it even better. The Low Hub Pro has split sliding windows. And did you notice I said sliding windows? I can just slide that lower window down to the height that I need it and then either leave the top part down or just slightly move it up to create that small perfect window. Or if you're taller, you can leave the bottom all the way up and just pull that top part up to get the same effect. And it's awesome because in addition to only having that smaller window, you can actually slide one part up or down to minimize as much as you can the ability for the deer to see in. It does have tie down straps and stakes so you can keep it in place. Now, as far as long-term durability, we can't really speak to that because this is a brand new blind, brand new to us, brand new to Rhino. But so far, it seems like it's gonna hold up well. So we have pretty high hopes for that. Often here I tell you things I wanna change about the product, but I feel like with this one, Rhino has hit the nail on the head and covered a lot of bases that are complaints I've had about other blinds. So we're gonna to have to give construction and durability a five out of five. Now on to testimonials and reviews. As I said, this is brand new for 2024, so I basically could find no reviews for it at all. I even tried to just search for problems and couldn't find any of those either. If you've had this blind and have some problems, please comment and let us know what those are. Usually we give you the score we found, but it doesn't have one, so we'll just move on. Now finally, should you buy this thing? I will say as usual, it depends on what you're looking for. If you hunt alone and you just need something really small and compact for concealment, then this may not be your best option. It is a pretty large design, it does weigh 20 pounds, and it's gonna be something you notice that you're carrying in. With two or three people, you're not gonna feel cramped. But even if you hunt alone, having all of that room is pretty dang awesome. Plus with that door, you're not gonna have any problems carrying it in and out. Then you add that one-way see-through mesh and those low hubs and the silent slide windows. We absolutely love this thing so far. We would definitely buy more of these if we were in need of more ground blinds. MSRP is right at 330, but I did see it on sale for 250 on one side. So we're gonna have to give, should you buy this thing, a five out of five. Make sure if you found this video helpful, you hit that like button and we have a brand new video every Sunday. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss our newest videos. Hey, thanks for watching our Rhino Low Hub Pro FD ground blind review video. While you're here, like it, comment, share it with your friends. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Head over to our website, reviewthisingtv.com, and you can also do a little shopping while you are there. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter.